Today we're going to look at another faction of ship. These are called the Ecliptic. The Ecliptics are mercenaries in the system. So if you run into a bounty hunter or an Ecliptic, they are actually in the same faction. This will be the first bounty hunter ship that comes after you, and it's also called the Ecliptic Stiletto. It can be named Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter Captain, or Ecliptic Stiletto. So we're going to look at the Stiletto now. All Ecliptic ships are named after blades. So you have the Falcata, which is a type of axe. The Rapier, which is a really flimsy long sword. The Stiletto, which is a type of knife. The Cutlass, which is like the old weapons that pirates used to use and then the claymore which is a two-handed longsword so it's very long the stiletto is very long you have your helium tanks on the side it has a top docker here are our engines the only ship that we've seen with these types of bars in the middle was our Spectre. The Spectre also had these things here. I'm pretty sure they were just for looks, but we'll check it out whenever we tear down the ship. You have your cannons and your lasers. And we are to the front. And like always with these really long ships, it knocked us all the way to the back. So I'll go ahead and run to the front. I'm sorry, to the docking bay. And then we'll go inside. Alright, so here we are inside. It is multiple stories. These are both storerooms. Um, as always, if you see a storeroom like this, it has food that you can take to heal yourself. You can steal. We'll go upstairs. There's your top docker. So this one docks at the top. So something that I've seen a lot of people have problems with is a lot of these ships like the spacer ship or the bounty hunter ship or the pirate ship that you steal um, they'll have contraband and the contraband will be in briefcases the briefcases will never be hidden you'll always be able to see them and they'll be like in the top or middle of one of these areas or sometimes they'll be in the cockpit um, if they're in the cockpit, they're normally on this side, on this shelf, or this shelf. You can actually take them, and you can put them here, if you want, and jettison them out into space. Or you can take them to the den and sell them, or you can take them to the pirate base and sell them. Now, here's the entrance to this cockpit here. That's your viewing area. It's pretty nice. For once, it's it's daytime that I've been playing in the city. Sorry about the pop in. We'll pretend we didn't see that. All right. So let's take our ship apart. So here is our ship and the shipbuilder, and. It's named the Ecliptic Stiletto. Here's your Samurai Cockpit. Our braking engine. Pinpoint 3G landing gear front. Attached to it is a Mahler 104L auto cannon. It's, it has normal damage. It also has a... Okay, good. So... It actually already has the weapon points on the top. This is an auto cannon. Auto cannons mean that they should fire automatically when an enemy is in range for them to fire. 
so we know that all of these pinpoint 3G landing gear ports have weapon ports on them. So that's cool. This is a port mid, just like the other one. So none of these are port backs. Or rear, I'm sorry, rear. IR laser, which just does normal damage for that. And then we have more of these horizon weapon mounts. Now, something that I was curious about, but we didn't have two smaller weapons with the other mount, is can we, there we go. So that's something new that we haven't seen yet. These weapon mounts can actually do one on each. So that's pretty cool. I like that. We'll keep going. Here is our Tayo control station 2x1 top A. And here is an equipment plate. And as we know, to attach a weapon to a control station or storeroom or anything to that nature, you always need an equipment plate. So these weapons will go right on it. We have our grab drive, which is a 9, which is normal. Our extender port 200 docker top. It's a flat one, but it, it looks kind of weird. I don't know about this one. It's just, just weird looking. We have two HE3 tanks. Um, that's a lot of fuel, I feel like. I feel like you shouldn't need that much fuel. 420. If you're flying from one side of the galaxy, maybe, and you haven't been to the other side, but that, that still seems like a ton. So this, this ship's meant to do the distance. This is a storeroom, one by one, topper. Storeroom, one by one, mid. So it looks like there's no difference between the mids and the tops. Um, the actual difference is just how they appear on the exterior. So the middle ones have this type of look. And then the bottom ones will have another look. I don't think we've seen a bottom one though yet. So we'll have to see if, if it has like a rounded bottom or something of that nature. Like maybe how this is rounded at the bottom. Maybe it's rounded at the bottom. But we have our ship bed 200 landing bay. Here's our bars. They're calling them spines. Tayo spine A. And then we have our shield generator. So, I haven't talked about this before. We'll go ahead and talk about it now. The regain rate is like how fast it regenerates your shield. The rates are normally 5, 7, and 10%. 10 being the fastest, but usually having the less, the least amount of max health. 5 normally being the slowest has the most max health and then you have seven which is in the middle so it normally has the middle of the road max health and max health just means how much damage they have to do to your shield before it goes to zero and you start taking hull damage your engine thrust um, 92 by 20,000 that's pretty basic your starter ship has pretty much the same amount we have the Tacomic X1000 reactor. So this is the same reactor that was in the Scarab. And then we have our Pinpoint 4G Plus landing gear. And I feel like this landing gear should have also been on the Raccoon. Alright, well let's put this thing back together. And now you have your Ecliptic Stiletto. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.